Next in just a few days, Tennessee lawmakers to plan to gather in Nashville for a rare special session. The call is for public safety after that school shooting in Nashville in the spring. Lawmakers who are Democrats say none of the items on the agenda would fix the gun violence problem in Tennessee. There's barriers to having an adult conversation and, and a good discussion about these issues and, and really addressing the root cause of gun violence. Republicans maintain a supermajority in both chambers of the Tennessee General Assembly. And 10 News reporter Vinay Simlot asked the House Speaker and the Lieutenant Governor about their priorities for this special session and how they think it could improve public safety. Vinay? John, Brittany, Republicans, as John said, have a supermajority or a two-thirds majority in both the Tennessee House and the Senate. Laws passed and decisions made will flow through two Republican leaders. Protests and debates no action, no peace. turned into disagreements in the state capitol. Governor Lee's proposal for a mental health order of protection has some support from Republicans, but not enough. I do support it, but I don't think it's going to happen in special session. The governor's proposal would have a person surrender their firearm if a court thought they were a danger because of mental illness. I don't foresee that as passing the House. I'm not in support of it. I think there's other things that we can do instead. The House Speaker says instead he'd like to change the mandatory reporting law, a change proposed by Knox County Representative Jason Zachary. It would require mental health professionals to report when someone makes a threat of bodily harm or has an intention to commit harm. It's a little bit nebulous now. Both Speaker Cameron Sexton and Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally agree on making threats of mass violence a felony. Right now it's a misdemeanor. Under Senator Hale's bill, uh, he would not be able to possess weapons. And they say they want to spend more money through the state's health plan on mental health care. Is to allow the providers and hospitals and other people who are taking care of mental health patients to, to, to be able to continue to do that and not operate at a loss. Those lawmakers say they'd also like to consider proposals on juvenile sentencing and automatically transferring juveniles to adult court on certain cases. They say those are targeted at District Attorneys General in Shelby and Davidson County. Democrats say the special session is a Trojan horse to move backwards on criminal justice reform. John Brittany. Benet, thank you.